Renee, what's the biggest difference between the bankruptcy process in the United States versus other countries? Management. In Chapter 11 cases in the U.S., management stays in control of the case. They run the business. In contrast, in other jurisdictions, Australia, the U.K., a third party comes in and runs the business. The third party is called the administrator or the liquidator. Many names, but it's a third party. What this means is that in the U.S., there is more court oversight of the debtor in possession, the management. And in contrast, in other jurisdictions where there is a third party, very little to no court involvement. What does that mean for deal making? Um, what it means is in the context of proceedings, they're very court intensive in the U.S. And in other jurisdictions, they are not. There are opportunities to be heard in the U.S. by other parties, which is why we typically recommend in foreign jurisdictions to work on out-of-court restructuring deals rather than in court. What's the typical outcome of a bankruptcy proceeding in other countries? Typically, it is either liquidation, and by that I also mean a controlled sale process. Mm -hmm. There is not a new reorganized debtor that comes out of the proceedings. And this is mostly a function of culture. In the U.S., we are a rescue culture. We are the land of second chances. In foreign jurisdictions, the culture is dif just different. They are less restructuring-minded, and in fact, sometimes bankruptcy is almost shameful. So when you're working with a client whose goal is to restructure a company in an, another country, what do you advise them? We typically advise them restructure out of court. Come to an agreement with the company, with other creditors, by contract, out of court, more certainty in the process.